Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing the third Oculus sensor and setting up a hopefully occlusion free room scale tracking experience. I've already done a room scale tutorial and showed two cameras, but the concept's pretty much the same. If you'd like to see that tutorial, you can click in the uh, description down below and also an annotation on the screen should be up right now. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. I didn't actually know that this sensor comes with a USB 2.0 16-foot cable, and I don't mention this in my room scale tutorial video, but uh, I did mention it in the comments because I learned after the fact. When you have a third sensor, uh, you should connect that using USB 2.0 because apparently if you have too many uh, cameras on the USB, like, or using USB 3.0 ports, then it can make... Uh, your CPU freak out and tracking could be even worse. So um, two of the cameras on USB 3.0 and then one of them on the USB 2.0 and you should be good to go. So let's uh, take a look at this by the way. This just tells you um, Oculus's official guide for three sensor setup on this link here. Nothing on the back. But expect this to be a pretty simple unboxing. A little notebook there, or a manual. And here's the sensor. Not much there. And this, of course, will just be the USB extender. So I'm going to set this up, show you guys what it looks like, and then do some in-game tests. Okay, so since my last video, I've actually updated my original uh, two cameras position. Uh, the first one was sitting right here and uh, angled down, but now I've moved it up here. Um, that's just connected straight to my computer. If you want a detailed look of the connection setups, you can check on my room scale tutorial video because it's really not that different. Um, I ended up putting the third sensor here connected with USB 2.0 and that extender runs behind the wall. Um, and then the other sensor on USB 3.0 is right up here. It's resting on top of my window here from some curtains so I'm hoping this will give me some pretty good coverage um, the measurement between this sensor and this sensor is probably 13 and a half feet or so maybe more maybe less and uh, these cameras are about seven and a half feet apart um, my overall play space is around 8 by 12 I think last I measured it feet so I'm gonna test it out and see how it goes. Alright guys here we are in Quill. This is an Oculus exclusive and it's a lot of fun. It's just a 3D painting game and I figured this would be a good way to show off the uh, Guardian system since there's not really a good way to record that that I know of. So I'm basically just gonna go around my room and mark with this uh, paintbrush here in the uh, my boundaries basically so I'm gonna get to where the guardian sensor starts showing me yeah it starts about here and I know I've got my chair over here a little bit of issues there and oops going along the wall pretty good here I think okay here and I found it again still going so going, bed should be right about here. A little bit iffy on uh, each of the corners, but for the most part, it's really good. So that right there is my whole tracking area. Mine is this little thing. I'm just going to make sure. Uh, I'm getting some weird issues. Okay, that's good now. But um, seems like the floor is getting a pretty good amount of tracking space from what I can tell and uh, I know I've got a light here so I want to watch that but maybe over here yeah reaching up high isn't a problem either mix up the colors but uh, yeah guys this is uh, this is it I mean it works really really well this is a pretty big space and I don't know how well you guys can see the depth of everything but oop, there's my bed uh yeah it works out really really well and uh i definitely think that this is a 
great solution for room scale tracking. That's going to do it for this video, guys. If you liked what you saw here today, be sure to leave a like down below. It really helps me out a lot. And also leave a comment letting me know your thoughts. Other than that, if you want to see more VR videos, tech videos, and gaming videos, be sure to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, my YouTube channel has been doing pretty well lately, so I want to keep it going, keep the trend going, hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. I'm going to paint some more in Quill. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching.